Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about the list of diagnostic services in automotive ECUs. In our previous video, we discussed about DCM overview. I have mentioned the link in the description. You can watch it. First, we can start with how UDS works. UDS is nothing about, it is a unified diagnostic services protocol. It is a standard protocol used for diagnostics and flashing in modern automotive ECUs. And UDS is defined under the ISO 14229 standard and is widely implemented via the DCM module in AutoSAR. UDS follows a simple request response pattern. A diagnostic tester send a request to ECU using a specific service ID that's called as SID. And ECU responds with a positive or negative response. This communication happens over CAN, Ethernet and flux ray. It's depending on the ECU network architecture. But in DCM, we have a three sub-modules. One is DSL, another one is DSD, another one is DSP. DSL means it is a diagnostic session layer. This will handle the session management and UDS protocol state. DSD means Diagnostic Service Dispatcher. It will route incoming request to appropriate service handler. And all of the diagnostic services will be configured under DSD. DSP, it is a Diagnostic Service Processor. It will execute the specific UDS services. And also DSP will communicate to application software component via RTE. Here, I have splitted the UDS services in a multiple section. So, the first we can start with four UDS services. So, here, first we have a 10 service. 10 means it's a diagnostic session control. So, this is used for switching between the different diagnostic sessions like default, programming or extended. Another one is ECU reset. It will trigger a reset in the ECU. And security access, this is one of the important service which is mainly used during a ECU flashing. This will handle security unlocking via the key challenge mechanism. That's called as key value pair. 28, the service 28 is mainly used for controlling the communication. So, this will enable and disabling the communication on the ECU network interfaces. The next one is 3E, tester present. This will keep diagnostic session Alive by periodic messages. For an example, whenever you switch from default session to extended diagnostic session, that will get stay for some period of time. But if you want to stay for a longer, then you have to send a 3E service. 83. It is accessing by access timing parameter. It's optional and configures timing parameters for communication. 84. It is a secure data transmission. This will ensure the secure transmission of diagnostic data. 85. Control DTC setting. During a flashing, if you want to control your DTC, then we have to use the 85 service. It will enable and disable the DTC logging temporarily. 86. Response on event. It will trigger ECU response when a specific event occurs. 87. It's called as link control service. It manages communication link parameter, example, timing and speed. Another one is data access services. All related to 22, 23, 24, 2A, 2C, 2E and 3D, these all are will come and data access services, especially for a data read and write. 22, it is a very famous one. It will be used for read the data from ECU. That called as read data by identifier. And 22, we will configure a 2 bytes data. That's called as data identifier. That's why it's called as BID. 23. Read memory by address. It will read raw memory from ECU. 24. It's read scaling data by identifier. It will read scaling or mapping data. 2A. Read data by periodic identifier. It will configure the cyclic transmission of data. 2C. Dynamically defined data identifier. It defines custom data set for reading. 2E, write data by identifier. So, whenever you want to write a data from a tester to ECU, then we have to use the 2E services. So, this will write to ECU parameters. 3D, write memory by address. It will write raw memory data into ECU. 
another one is io control services input output control services so here we have sid for 2f input output control by identifier so it will force us input or output signals example turn on turn fan on or motor related all io related will be handled via 2f service dtc related services so we have a service id 14 and 19 14 is mainly used for clear all the dtc from ecu memory and 19 is for read dtc information so these two services will communicate to them via dcm routine control it's also a very famous one its service id is 31 so it will have a start stop or request routine related it's, it's example for sensor calibration or memory arrays this is also majorly used during ecu flashing Programming services. So these LR will work under programming session and this is very specifically used during ECU flashing. So service ID 34 request download. It will initiate ECU reprogramming. That means firmware download. 35 request upload. It will initiate upload of ECU memory content. 36 transfer data. Transfers data block during programming. And 37 request transfer exit. It will finalize as the transfer session another one is the newly added services the 29 it's mainly for authentication this is added very recently and that's mainly for a secure diagnostics that's mean for authentication and access control so these all are the list of diagnostic services we are using it in dcm as part of uds protocol Hopefully, you get a clear idea about list of diagnostic services which is used in automotive ECUs. I have a plan to take a each and individual video for each and every diagnostics. So, whenever you have a comment, whenever you have a, some questions, you can just mention in the comment section. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.